Ladies and gentlemen, Sean here. Just wanted to um, take uh, the channel or this video kind of in a different direction. Um, and it's friggin' raining and cold outside, so I figured I would um, do a little video about kind of my story and um, what I, you know, from what happened to me or what has happened to me in the past and why I do what I do and how I got here. Um, so I am 12 year, a 12 year army veteran, uh, was in the army 12 years, uh, reserves, um, and some active duty time in that, in that frame. I have my army t-shirt on today. Um, some, I did some active duty time, uh, a deployment overseas, um, um, and, you know, that kind of sums it up. So I was, I'm um, actually still working on getting out. I'm going through what's called a medical board. Um, so in pa on paper, I'm still in, but um, that's almost done, almost complete. So I'll get my walking orders here soon, which is fine with me. Um, I So let me start off by saying this. I wish that, I absolutely wish that I could be quote unquote normal. Um, I wish I didn't struggle with the things that I struggle with. Um, I, it really hinders relationship. Um, and it makes me, um, regret, um, a lot of the times, like what I've been through and, and things of that nature. Um, but the best thing is that I'm still kicking, I'm still breathing, I'm still alive. Uh, my faith is very important to me. Um, the relationships that I do have are very important to me. And, uh, you know, I love people and people love me. That being said, um, so how I got here uh, to where I'm at now. Right now, I am a uh, disabled veteran. I struggle with, um, with uh, nighttime incontinence and nighttime bedwetting. Um, and sometimes daytime accidents occasionally. Um, but how I got there was, um, when I was little, uh, I was abused. Uh, so anxiety has always been in my, uh, in my life in some form or facet. Um, I was not abused by my parents or anybody close to me. Um, that was a, um, uh, somebody who was not close to me who, took it upon themselves to uh, do those things. Um, fast forward a couple of years, um, I was in the military and um, I was about to go on deployment and I was um, sexually assaulted. Um, all the, the steps were followed, everything was followed. Uh, and so, you know, that is kind of over and done with. Um, but it left a scar um, left a big scar and I didn't say anything for about five years, uh, to anyone, uh, not even my parents, nobody close to me. Uh, I didn't say anything for about five years until it finally came to a, to a head. Um, I was diagnosed with, um, severe chronic depression, um, generalized anxiety disorder and, um, uh, panic disorder. And, um, uh, nocturnal enuresis, uh, which is more commonly known as bedwetting. Um, a lot of people think that being an adult, um, especially people that critique channels like this or get on and just troll channels like this, um, that once you, that you do it on purpose and you just want to wear diapers or, you know, you, um, um, you know, you just are weird. Um, that for some people may be true that, you know, it, that whole community, ABDL, um, people do enjoy wearing diapers. They enjoy, um, you know, uh, feel, feeling little or feeling cared for or nurtured, or there's a whole dominant domination thing to that domination piece. And there's, there's a whole load of things. Uh, for me personally, I don't, I'm not into that stuff. Um, occasionally I will wear a diaper. Um, on days when I'm just not feeling very well. Um, and it's a, it's a safety net for me. It's a comfort thing. Um, it's like a child who has a blanket or a pacifier. Um, that's not all the time though. Um, 
you know, most of the time I only wear at night. So anyway, so that kind of gives you a, a, a synopsis on how we got here. Um, in 2015, I went into a string of panic attacks is when the bedwetting really started getting bad. Um, I went into a string of panic attacks and I was having panic attacks every two hours. Um, I lost 30 pounds. Um, and if you see me, I don't have 30 pounds to lose. <laughs> so that was rough. Um, I, so yeah, for, for, I really thought I was on my deathbed. Um, it was, it was for a month and a half straight. Didn't go to work, didn't eat, didn't drink nothing. I mean, it was really bad. Uh, and I would wake up in a wet bed every morning. Um, and when I had panic attacks, if they were bad enough, I would lose control. And, um, you know, so anybody who, who's anybody who has ever had a panic attack um, and a string of them and knows those feelings, um, you know, can attest to this. But, um, you know, so I lost 30 pounds. I wasn't doing well at all. Um, fast forward a little bit, you know, I got on some great medication. I'm on an antidepressant, um, which works really well for me. Uh, it's called Lexapro. Works really well for me, um, but it was hard getting on it. Um, and, you know, fast forward a couple of years, you know, the only thing that really stuck with me was the bedwetting. Um, you know, I have occasional moments of depression or occasional moments of anxiety. But it is, I'm just so thankful, and it's a breath of fresh air, that it isn't constant. And, you know, when you're inconsolable and nothing can, can console you, that's a dangerous spot to be in. Um, I uh, fast forward a couple years. In 2018, it happened again. Um, I made the mistake of, of um, quitting medication all on my own. I started to feel better, and I was like, eh, whatever. Yeah, that was a mistake. Um, so I went back on it. Getting back on it, the exact same thing happened. I was having panic attacks again every two hours, um, you know, every couple of hours. I uh, wasn't eating, wasn't working, wasn't sleeping, wasn't doing any of that. Um, and so I lost probably about 20 pounds this time. Um, so that was in 2018. Um, so here we are in 2021. Um, the bedwetting has stayed. Um, occasional accidents during the day. If I find myself doing something, I just don't stop um, or, you know, things of that nature. Uh, I don't wear all the time. Uh, like I said in the beginning, um, I, uh, you know, so I do this. I, I do this. I have this channel. This channel is up for people, um, you know, maybe in the ABDL community. That's cool. You know, it's your prerogative. You're not hurting anybody. You know, it's something you enjoy, whatever, what have you, like, it's cool. That's your business. It's not anybody else's business. Um, this channel was really set up for people that have disabilities um, that require the use of diapers uh, or incontinence products, how to cope with that, and how to, um, you know, a review of those products. Um, yeah, more of those products we see now are geared towards um, people in the fetish community, um, but my look on it is this, it may look ridiculous, uh, to me or to somebody else, anybody who knows me or anybody I'm in a personal relationship with, but it works. And that's all I care about. I don't care what it looks like. You know, that's fun at times and really, you know, kind of cool. But at the end of the day, I want it to work. So that's why this channel is set up. It's so that I can review products to the best of my ability, share some knowledge about what I've learned in my research, not only of my own conditions, but of other conditions. Share some of my knowledge about, you know, infantilism and ABD, the ABDL community and why, uh, you know, why they, they, they use these products and really care about these products and the whole philosophy behind that. Um, but anyway... So that's why this channel exists, to make life better. I want people to live well. I want people to um, continue to live a somewhat normal life with, uh, you know, the protection that they use. I want people to realize that you could be a man, a grown man or a grown woman, and be completely fine and content with using protection and, uh, you know, build that confidence. Um, it's because a lot of times, you know, the people that do have disabilities and things of that nature, we lose confidence. It's a, for, it's a form of insecurity, especially in a, in a romantic relationship or somebody who has no, 
no uh, idea what a um, you know what um, wearing for that reason uh, why it pertains you know to disabilities and things of that nature. So people that don't know anything about that, um, it's very hard for them to understand. I um, yeah so. I sorry, and that's that is another form of you know thing, um, being that I have anxiety, I have short term memory loss, so it might be funny or you might get upset because I don't, um, I don't, you know, I don't get things out or my thoughts out straight away, but I'm trying, I'm working on that, um, you know, anxiety causes me short causes me short term memory loss sometimes, and I forget what I was going to say, so I apologize, and if you want to critique me. Uh, you know, or say something stupid, that's fine. Uh, just know I'll say something stupid back. Um, but, you know, I, uh, I really set this channel up to be successful for people who have disabilities um, and who share um, the weight of, of those. So that's a little bit about my story. Um, I, of course, I didn't go into too much detail. I just kind of wanted to get the, the major ones out there. So that is why I do what I do and what this channel will be set up for. Um, anyway, I uh, just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope this has been helpful. Hope it brings a little bit more insight on why I do what I do on this channel. And uh, so feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I'll have a um, little pause video coming out. I'm going to review that here in a little while. So have a great day. Be well, be blessed, and uh, to see you guys soon.